have you ever thought what are the skills that are needed to actually succeed in an mba program or have you ever thought what are the kind of people who actually get the best offers during their mba programs then hi welcome to my channel if you are new here i am on a chai break and on my channel i talk about all things mba all things consulting and many a times lifestyle as well so before you proceed feel free to hit on the subscribe and the notification button so that you get notified every time i am bringing out my experiences and the research for all of you it's a very interesting topic what are the skills that are needed before an mba to actually get the best salaries and the best offers and for this video i am going to be first and foremost help you understand a t shaped curve which is basically which signify what kind of skills should we have so as the letter t signifies the horizontal bar of the t is basically the kind of varied generalized skills that one needs to have when they are actually advancing their career and the vertical bar of t means that you need to have a specialization as and when you move advance when you move or advance redundancy when you advance your career and that vertical bar of the t could be anything either it could be a vertical by vertical i mean a sector for example healthcare sector finance sector or an education sector or it could be a function as well for example you are ace at problem solving skills or you are a brilliant marketer or you could advance your career through learning blockchain technology or just artificial intelligence and as we get move ahead in this video i am going to be dividing this entire video into two sections first the hard skills and then the soft skills there are largely seven skills that i am going to be talking about that you should focus on before you start your mba journey i would advise you to stay tuned till the end because the last point at least to my view is the most important skill that you need to know as you advance your journey especially after your mba Let's first and foremost get into the first hard skill which is important in today's 21st century which is web 3.0 or the emerging technologies gone are the days where every tom dick and harry mba uh, graduate was just selling soaps or just selling cars in today's scenario you need to know how to, what are the applications of artificial intelligence what is blockchain technology or how can you employ, deploy blockchain technology from a uh, telecom sector to let's say education sector to even public sector right so getting that getting a little more comfortable with technology no matter whatsoever sector you come from knowing what is data analytics knowing what is predictive analytics knowing what is uh, blockchain and cryptocurrency will actually help you to advance your career not just during your mba program but you will become a, a hot cake on campus when the employers will come to hire you which brings us towards the second skill which is the platform models most of the organizations today are actually not just fmcg or are not based on industrial goods which is the it ig sector real estate automobiles the best organizations or the top employers these days are actually platform based you talk about flipkart you talk about amazon or even google for that matter they are platform based your understanding of platform models your understanding of technology is going to be pivotal for you to actually make the best use of your mba program so i would highly advise you to understand not just as a layman but just really get into the nuances of platform models what is the network effect that takes place which moves first the supply or the demand so on and so forth which brings us towards the third point in the hard skill so when i entered my mba campus as an isp student on the isp campus and then of course i went for a harvard exchange um, i had worked in three organizations for five and a half years and across public sector and private sector and private sector i was actually playing the role of a strategist in groupon india which is now called nearby the fact that i had worked on growth project for a private sector organization and i had worked for growth projects as a boutique management consultant as well it allowed me to actually have a very holistic view to understand how do you actually advance an organization's revenue or how do you grow a uh, organization's revenue or a product's revenue 
and how is that important you get a 360 degree view when you're actually advancing the organization's revenue from sales to marketing to supply chain to finance right you really think 360 degree and if of opportunity arise i would highly advise you that within your organization or the other you should definitely look at getting projects through which you could work on strategic initiatives such as advancing the revenue of an organization or a particular vertical which brings us towards the fourth point in the hard skill which is largely around microsoft excel uh microsoft excel is actually a very pivotal tool it could really help you to become more comfortable not just on an mba campus but even after your mba journey many a times people are very short sighted they just think that let me just land onto the mba campus and then Uh, MBA will be a magic wand, and I will just supre- suddenly become a superhero or a superwoman, and all the employers will run after me. That's not actually the truth, my friend. People who are much more ready on campus, they become hot cakes, or they are the top most favorite of the employers. So, certain preparation level you need to go through certain basics before you land onto an MBA campus, especially the top MBA campus, because. a uh, top mba campus means that you are going to be competing head on with the creamiers layer so that all of you together get the best jobs right so if you're comfortable doing v lookups if you're comfortable doing pivots and if you know how to do financial modeling it will act in your favor so that you're not wasting your time doing basics as your peers are actually completing assignments on time and they're spending their rest of the time networking with employers and networking with their smart uh, peers on the mba campus and there is one more thing that i wanted to talk about which is the indian mindset of an mba most of the people just jump into an mba because they think that i could my undergrad degree really couldn't help me to actually get a job now let me go to the iims of the world where even an undergraduate can can get an admission uh, mba was actually a concept and a degree which was started in us right and largely if you think of an mba the role of an mba was to actually advance someone's career not really kick start someone's career i have always maintained on my channel that if if you get a chance then you should largely do an mba from a very reputed college ideally the ft top 30 across the world and that means isp as well um, of course this is not a promotion video but i've always told people that mba is a very expensive degree please make sure that you uh, spend your hard earned money or even your parents hard earned money on a fantastic degree and not just on any mediocre degree so please make sure that you just don't do an mba for the heck of doing an mba and just join an mba campus after an undergraduate program if realistically possible spend time in the market getting experience of all the skills that i'm talking about and then to advance your career you should join an mba program which brings us towards the end of section number 1 as we move to section number 2 feel free to comment on this video to help me understand if you understand what is web 3.0 if you want me to make videos on a honor around artificial intelligence data analytics those are topics that of course uh, m- at are taught at my education venture as well so i'm f- i'm happy to actually give you a glimpse of those topics which brings us towards the soft uh, soft skills first and foremost you should be able to work in teams uh, if possible during your job try to work in teams not just work in silos because mba is a lot about peer to peer assignments peer to peer learning so you should be ab- you should be able to work with others you should be able to work with different kind of people who come from different background without getting rude without uh, actually burning your bridges and that happens my friends when you have actually already worked in team settings before so that's the first thing that i would want to talk about the second skill which to my mind is the sixth skill in the overall ranking and the second skill in the soft skill which is work ethic work ethic is not largely a skill per se to my mind work ethic is actually a character and a personality of yours in on an mba campus you would actually be working on assignments in teams and you could actually be uh, there is this famous concept in economics which is diffusion of responsibility which is that if it is not anyone's responsibility then people typically try to diffuse the responsibility to someone else now people talk on an mba campus your reputation just does not end with the end of your journey it actually stays today i collaborate with my peers from isp with who actually left a good impression upon me right uh, i would not collaborate with my peers who were just diffusing the responsibility or who were not completing a 
assignments and who were just trying to score marks uh, at the expense of someone else's hard work. So work ethic is something that is definitely important and it comes if you have worked in the industry, if you have worked in the market for a few years, which brings me towards the end of uh, this entire list, which is uh, largely your soft skills and communication skills. If possible, before your MBA program, try to work on front-end consulting or front-end client rules. Why? Because it sharpens your communication skill. It sharpens your negotiation skills. The kind of jobs that you will get after your MBA program will actually require you to have sharp communication and negotiation skills. And if you have an upper edge before you land on an MBA campus on these skills, you will definitely, it will become easier for you to actually uh, advance your career and get hired. Which brings me towards the end of this video. If you need more help to get into management consulting and product management, feel free to check out Impact MBA Scholars Program at My Education Venture. We are live and interactive. Master classes are taught at the intersection of emerging technologies and business by the CEOs and chairmen, along with, of course, employment partnerships at uh, globalgovernanceinitiative.org. And if you like this video, feel free to share it with your friends. And of course, feel free to hit on the like button. And of course, I'll see you very much soon. With that, please take care, stay healthy, stay happy, and be kind to each other. Take care. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.